Right now we've uh, seen how a lot of those um, assignments are not actually possible. Um, there is in fact a way to uh, force the assignment and that's called casting and what you do is you write the type that you want in brackets in front of the uh, in front of the expression or literal or whatever and um, this is how it works. Um, uh, first of all if the um, if the source on the right hand side is a, a float or a double precision number then what it um, involved is, involves is a two-step process and um, the first step is you if the cast is an integer or smaller than integer the the um, floating point or double number is, is rounded um, to an end and if the if the uh, if the thing you're trying to cast to is is a double it's rounded to a long and that rounding is is towards zero and um, this is possible that it will give a number which is is larger than the largest possible integer or smaller than the most negative integer in which case if that's if that's the case it just puts the maximum positive or the maximum minimum negative number in there okay and then the, then the next stage in the process is that um, if the left hand side is shorter than the right hand side the right hand side is now think of it as being a, an int or a double, an int or a long rather, then um, bytes are uh, just lost from the most significant end. And that's the general process of casting. You just lose bytes from the most significant end to make it small enough to fit. So that may lose information, it may not. Here's an example, um, which is okay now. This wasn't allowed before, but it's works perfectly right now, b contains minus 1. Because all that's done, has happened is you've uh, chopped, uh, there's an int and you've chopped off the chopped off the upper three bytes, which are all 0, have just been chopped off. So that works perfectly well. Now this gives the same answer of course, because again the upper three bytes are that, that. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, I just chopped off. And you're left with ff, and that fits perfectly well into b. And uh, now this works as well because zero long is uh, it's just going to give you zero when you chop all the bit uh, the upper. Oh, well, these three bytes now. I'll be more than that. Uh, seven. The upper seven bytes are chopped off. You'll be left with zero for the last byte, and that'll fit in there quite happily. And now in this case, um, we got a rounding to do, and it's rounded to an integer of 123. And um, that fits quite happily into the byte. And we've got um, now this now, which is um, uh, max hash u eight thousand, and uh, that will now be uh, it is, that's a char, uh, and it's the same size as uh, chars and shorts are the same size so they're just kind of byte for byte copied over which will give minus 32768 when you look at it as a, a signed number is um, uh, that converted to an int and uh, that's very big and much bigger than int, and it will give the uh, maximum possible value, which is um, seven FFF. FFF. It's got enough Fs there. One, two, three, four. No, I think I'm one F short there. Yeah. Okay. There is a. There's only one conversion, really. You have to really think about and that's between char and byte when you're assigning um, a byte to a char what you want to have is consistency now remember that bytes are signed and chars are unsigned and to have consistency what you want is that um, if you were to assign that byte to an integer and then assign that integer to a char 
you want to get the same result as going directly from byte to char. And in fact, that's how it's defined. What happens is it's widened first from byte to integer, and that's quite happy to do that. And then it's uh, then you have a narrowing conversion to char. Um, between um, short and char doesn't make any difference if you think of it going bar and int or, or not, it makes no difference. Um, so that's the only one that's particularly difficult to uh, think about, has to be thought out. Just one last point I'd like to mention. Um, if you recall the um, floating point lecture I was talking about, um, you'll recall that um, an integer can be held exactly in a um, double precision floating point number without any loss of um, loss of uh, data. But that's not the case for the other possible combinations. So um, an int uh, can't be held exactly in a uh, float, and nor can a long be held in a float or double. Uh, at least not if um, not if the number is large enough. Um, so obviously that's one thing to be aware of is that there is a possible loss of precision if you're using very large numbers. Now the question arises as to um, what number is actually chosen to represent the long or the integer. And uh, the rule is that um, it's uh, rounded um, to the nearest exact floating point number. And um, if there's two possible candidates, so it lies midway between two possible values, um, then one of those values will have a least significant bit of zero, and it's that one that's chosen. Now this method actually of uh, rounding to the nearest with um, um, those that are equidistant going to the one with the zero um, also applies when you're narrowing from um, double to float because when you when you do a cast from a double to a float it requires a cast of course um, you have to uh, there's a possible loss of precision there and you, you often have to choose which uh, float to choose if it lies if the if the double lies midway between two possible floats then you have to choose one obviously also of course if if it's um if it's uh, too big to be held on a float then of course you'll get infinity or if it's um, uh, too uh too negative as it were the other way you'll get minus infinity and also of course there's a zero if it's uh, too small um Oh yes, oh, one one thing I forgot to mention: um, you can't uh, you can't cast anything to a boolean. It's, it's not a, applicable. So it's not a numeric type at all, really. So you can't cast any numeric type to it. And uh, I think that's about it. <laughs>